Hi, Matt with eTrailer. Today we're going to be talking about the Kuat NV 2.0 bike rack on the 2023 Toyota 4Runner. Now this is going to be a great bike rack if you're looking for something that's going to be a platform style that's very versatile and that's able to accommodate a lot of different bikes at a premium level. One of the premium features is where it makes contact. It's not going to make any frame contact and it's just going to have a strap on one tire and a hook on the front tire. So it's going to be able to accommodate a lot of alternative frame bikes and carbon frame bikes. And it's going to be able to accommodate two bikes, 60 pounds each, meaning it can even hold those heavy 60 pound e-bikes as well. Another feature I like about this bike rack, it has this lever here and that's going to let us tilt our bike rack away. It tilts a pretty fair amount away, letting us have hatch access. This is going to be good if you need to get anything from the back of your vehicle, like any additional gear, shoes, or other accessories. Now it does come a little close to our bike, but that's also going to depend on how big your handlebars are. But once you have all your gear, you come back out to the front of it, and to get it back into the seated position, all you have to do is lift up on it, no click back into place. Once we've taken our gear out, we can take off our bike. To do that, I'm just going to start off with this back strap, just pressing on this button and pulling the strap through. I'm just going to kind of tuck it behind this tray. I'm going to come to the front side, making sure i got a hand on the frame. I'm just going to press this button. I'm going to push up and away. And now, I'm going to just lift up my bike, take it off, and take it for a ride. We're going to start putting everything up. Just starting with this J hook, sliding it back down, making sure it's very nice, neat and compact. And if we take a look over here at our cradle, you'll be able to see that we can accommodate a couple different tire sizes from our skinny, standard, and fat tires. Going off that, we also have a strap back here that can also switch out and uh, be able to, to accommodate those fat tires. I'm just gonna stick this back through here. Another nice feature about this strap is it can also accommodate a couple different wheel bases just by sliding down on our tray. And at the very end of the tray, we're going to have this integrated cable lock system just in case you want to wrap this around your bikes just for that extra security. As for how it's going to interact with our vehicle, since this is only a two bike rack, it's not going to stick out too far, but it's going to stick out about 34 and a half inches. So that's still a decent amount. That's just something to kind of be mindful if you're in any tight spots like parking spaces or garages. And for ground clearance from the furthest point out, we're gonna have about 28 and a half inches from the ground. So that sits up pretty far up the ground. So you shouldn't have to worry about it too much hitting the ground if you're going up any steep hills. Now, if this is sticking out a little bit more than you like, you can fold it up. All you have to do is pull the same lever that you tilted it away with and push up. And now from our bumper to the furthest point out, we're gonna have about just 17 inches. So that's gonna save you a lot of room. As for how it's interacting on the back of the vehicle, it's gonna block a little bit of your license plates and it'll probably, probably block some of your backup camera. You might be able to see around it in some spots, but it's going to block some visuals. But your taillights and back window are going to be completely free to see. Something that's going to set it apart from a lot of other bike racks is this bike repair stand. To utilize that, all you have to do is pull this tab. that will let me have the ability to raise this to whatever height I like. The maximum height being right here. And you can swing it out. Make sure you close this just so it locks into place and doesn't slide back down. And to open it up, all you have to do is twist this knob here and it'll extend out. Once you have it extended out, you can adjust it to fit. And that's all you have to do for that. And then to close it back up, we just have to push it back in and tighten it back up. And just kind of swing it back out and push down. You might have to wiggle it a little bit. And once it's back down here, just make sure to shut this clip back up. For how it's gonna 
connect to your vehicle, we're just going to have this 2 inch shank plug into a 2 inch hitch receiver and we're going to have this pin run through it and connect to this locking core. This locking core is going to be the same key system as your integrated cable lock. And looking at the back of it, we're also going to have this anti-rattle knob and that's going to be easy to use, especially since it's tool free and it's going to prevent any shaking and wobbling from your bike rack. Overall, I think this is a bi great bike rack. It's going to have a lot of premium features to it that really sets it apart from a lot of other bike racks. And with how versatile it is, being able to accommodate your heavy e-bikes and not without making that frame contact, making sure you can accommodate a lot of alternative frame and carbon frame bikes. Now, uh, this is a little bit too premium for you and you want something without all the additional features, I'd recommend the Rocky Mounts monorail. It's, not, it's going to be able to hold all your heavy e-bikes at 60 pounds and without making any frame contact. contact. Uh, now, it's not going to have our bike repair stand or a couple of the other additional features. Now, if you are looking at this bike rack for those additional features, I definitely recommend this to you. If you liked everything you've seen today, that was a look at the Kuat NV 2.0 bike rack on the 2023 Toyota 4Runner.